Good morning. Thought I should probably start this uh, video off. Thought I should probably start this video off as already have started doing a few little bits and bobs. And before I get any further on, I should really show you things. But first, Jonathan. I've been shafted. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. How is Mr. John and what are we doing? Um, new gearbox and a fifth gearbox. Um, yeah. New shafts? New shaft as well. New shaft, new gearbox and a fifth gearbox. One more could do one for Christmas. And there's that. So John's doing that. We will come back and check out the fifth gear mod shortly. I've already started doing bits on that. And Mr. Day is hiding. There he is. Mr. Day is doing something he doesn't do very often. Uh, do some welding for the change. Nice little bit of welding. I actually missed that. This, actually, you did see in a video or two ago. This is the VR6. A lovely VR6. And Day's just doing the uh, seal. seal. That's what you cut out. And that bit is actually lovely. So we do have to do the inner part. Yeah. That ain't bad. So was it just the outer? Yeah. Let's oh, see, that was a bit dumb. Bit good. Ah, it cut that. But the um, surprise of the inner arch is actually basically. So what else does this one need other than just this outer? Uh, it's obviously B pillar. It's all pitted, so we're going to cut that out. Um, the lip. For the seal, it's a bit um, rotted on the back. Another arch and seal. So there we go. That's what Dai's up to. We'll leave him to do that. We'll catch up in a bit. There's a fiesta here with problems, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're not talking about that. Whoa. But yeah, we're not talking about that. But me, as you remember, I've got a bit of a rust hole here. I have cleaned up this part. And I need get down it to clean up all the. You can see I've already sort of started. I need to clean up all around here, make sure the slot's all nice and clean. And then while Dai's got the welder out, he might accidentally come over and finish this off for me. And Mr. John has welded my bearings into my shock plates. Now you've seen I've been making these over the last couple of videos, but. This is the passenger side one. These go up here. Oh, you probably can't see it, but now the bearing's in. I'm going to have to obviously clearance that just a little bit. And then these are pretty much done then, give or take. So I need to make a little bit of clearance just for that. But first of all, let's get this lot grinded off. Oh, and coffee time. That's not a bad idea. So... Yeah, if you remember in a couple of videos ago, we were talking about the NC500, and that's why this van is here, because Dai has decided to take the good bits out of it. Might as well show you while it's still here. Full length rock and roll bed. Oh, we took it all out. There's a nice diesel heat that was underneath it, and the front seats, he's got the double, which is a swivel, and the drivers, which are, as you can see, color matched. Does need a rear pulse by there got some really good bits on it and this is the one that's got the pop top on it so we need to get a few more bits off of this and then she shall be gone anyway that's enough of explaining i'm gonna go over there and do some grinding and make coffee right well we've just had a little i've managed to grind some of this lot back but i need to but we'll deal with that in a minute we're on that in a minute but mr john has called me over mr john and this is inside yeah. the gearbox. Yeah, so this is your fifth gear, right in there, in your synchro. And I'm just going to pull this one off. And up there. Easy like that, Sunday morning. Here's your old fifth. There's the old one. Tip. 
Ta-da! That's our Super 50 set. That is your sinker rope. There's your fifth gear bait in. I'm going to just change in for a bigger set. And then I've got the RPM. Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah. So, we're going to let John get a little bit more uh, ready to put it all back in again, and we shall pick this up momentarily. See you momentarily. My job is I need to lob this little bit off here because this is the bumper support and I don't need it anymore because then that way I can get behind here and grind all this lot off a bit better. I've done most, I will do a bit more to the top and then Dai can come and work his magic and so that is my plan now. Well, there's that bit a lot more cleared up than it was. Do have a little bit more to, to finish on there, but then this is pretty much ready to weld up. And I am gonna just finish off doing this side as well. I'm gonna have to move that bit of plastic and then just grind all this lot back so it's ready for the welder. That's my plan for that. So I'm gonna get a little bit more grinding done and then we'll go back over and see what Mr. John's up to. So, see you in a mo. So, back over here, and Mr. John has got this thing back together a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, this is like the fork now. Oh, we'll have no fifth gear. It's always when you come here, Carl. Huh? It's always when you come here. Things don't want to go back again. No. Nothing to do with the fact there's a camera in your face. Mm. And then you've got these lovely little contraptions. And there. And one there. Love it. Uh -huh. See that's connected to your gear linkage. And when your gear's going in and out, the gear chart in and out. And that's fifth. And that there is a fifth gear mod. Yeah. Happy motoring. Well done, Mr. John. <laughs> I uh, would have come over and shown you a bit more, but John was concentrating getting this lot put back together and I was uh, annoying him. Grinding, so not annoying. They love having the uh, Dunzo. There you go. I mean, I showed most of the gear, fifth gear mod, but that would be, would be nice to take it for a test, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll wait for later. Hmm. Yeah. There's a very good reason why the test drive ain't happening today. Well, it is happening today, it's just not right now. In fact, I might as well just show you. So, I brought my Fiesta in because the wheel bearing had gone bad. And it'd be having an awful noise. And as soon as I took the, uh, the drum off, the wheel bearing just fell apart. And I was just like, ah, oh, that'll probably be the problem. So, off I went to go buy me a uh, nice new bearing. And I thought, ah, oh, it's an easy little job. And then I took this. And I sat it over here on the press. And then, obviously that was in there. And then, barely, it was obviously up the other way around to press it out. Barely put any pressure on it. Just went to go check whether it was all lined up or not. And it fell apart literally fell apart so at the moment my fiesta is now stuck in the mouth of the garage in the way and we're waiting for a new part to arrive so i can move it it was only supposed to be an easy job it was literally just take that out press the old one out press a new one in it would have been back together again but now i'm just taking out the workshop you're welcome so yeah that's that 
My car is now stranded. Son's finishing a fifth gear mod. Dice cracking right on with doing that lot. And I'm going to carry on just clearing all this lot up a little bit more. Getting it ready for a little bit more well done on here. Stop procrastinating. I'll pick this camera up in a minute once a bit more is done. Well, I didn't manage to get as much filmed as I wanted to get filmed. Mainly because the Fiesta decided to be a uh, absolute nightmare. But there's the old one in the scrap. I found that John was doing the fifth gear mod. That's gone. Now he can go. He's off taking it out for a test drive. Ah, should really uh, let you guys see this. I don't hate it, you know. John's just been taking this one apart to get the engine out. Yeah, I don't hate it. Not gonna lie. And then Mr. Dynamo, he's been a busy boy. So I think last time you seen, he was just getting this bit in. He's obviously got the uh, seal. All in all, everyone's been nice and busy. And I finally have the car back. And I did take it for a test drive. No more wheel bearing grumble, which is lovely. And hopefully this doesn't fall off. There we go. To grind all this lot back under here. Um, was doing a few bits to those plates, but we'll talk about that later. But managed to grind it there and grind it up there, which is lovely. So all in all, fairly productive, but I'm going to put the camera down now. I will pick this up tomorrow and we'll finish a video off tomorrow. But sort of productive-ish day. I need to tidy up my toys. Huh? Tomorrow we do some welding on yours. Ah, here we go. Hopefully we can do some welding on mine. But there you go. Like I just said, hopefully you get a bit of welding done on mine tomorrow. But we'll pick this up tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. And good morning. How are we? It is the next morning because it's light outside. But I know I started or ended the last clip saying that we were going to continue it today and... I'm going to start it as a new video because this thing is getting condemned. So I kind of want to show that in its own video. And we're doing a little bit of kind of NC500 prep because Dai's van needs to come in, which is back there somewhere. It's the back one. That's going to be getting a little bit of love today. And I kind of want to put it in its own video. So I'm going to end this one here. So if you made it to this part in the video, I'm going to do a bit of a giveaway. You've probably seen that I've got these cruise control units. And here is one here. It's a spare one I've got. I'm going to do a giveaway with this one. So I'm going to do a giveaway on this. And if or when this video gets up to 50 likes, which is more than I normally get. But gets up to 50 likes, I will pick a comment to win the cruise control unit. And John, what is going to be the word that everyone has to comment to win the cruise control? Bananas. There you go. <laughs> comment bananas. Probably because there's three yellow vans here. Yeah. But comment bananas. Once it gets to 50 likes, I'll pick a winner. So there you go, there's that. But that's the end of that. We're gonna get ourselves gone and I'm gonna pick a camera up immediately while we do other things. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, John. Bye and we're gonna get ourselves off thank you very much for watching thank you very much for putting up while dumbass and as always take it easy